hi guys welcome back to the course so in the last section we created the front end of our project so from this video we will start working on the registration form so enable for the user to register we have to create the users table in the registration database so localhost and phpmi admin Let's select the registration database and add a users table. The table will have six columns. Click go button. Now let's add the first one will be the ID definitely. It will be 11 characters maximum. And it will be primary key and auto increment as well. So whenever a user is entered into the database, the value of the ID will be automatically incremented. So the next one will be name and it will be varchar. And let's give it 100 characters. The next one will be email and it will also be varchar. Let's give it 200 characters. The next one will be password which are as well to 55 characters the this one will be token actually we will use this token to activate the user's account and this will be which are as well and 255 characters and the last one will be status status will be actually the status of the user's account so if the status is one that means the user's account is active but the default value will be zero that means the account will not be active so user will have to activate the account using the email address so we will do this later on in the registration section so let's go ahead and do some minor changes in the registration form first of all we have to add a heading for the registration form so we will go inside the form and add a h2 tag register here let's separate the registration form with registration forms body and the title using the hr you can see the heading and the line separating the body and the title of the form so let's click the register button as you can see that we are able to submit the form without even entering the form values so if we want to make all of these fields required so we will have to do one simple change we will have to add the required attribute to all of these form fields so as you can see I will I am adding the required attribute to all the input tags in the form so save it refresh and now if I try to submit the form it's asking me please fill out this field so let's add some value let's add an email which is actually not an email and try to submit it it is saying please include an at the rate symbol in the email address so now if we try it is saying that the email address is incomplete now if we click the register it is saying please fill out this field so now you can see that the required attribute is doing a lot of validation work for us so i think that's it for this video so guys see you in the next video and probably in the next video we will be working on doing some more validation so stay tuned